Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the DEIVA extension mod, which is being made by form user Demon Ein. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game are some truly impressive upgraded internal views for the stock command pods. And I gotta say, these look amazing as the mod maker used a combination of a roster prop monitor and asset prop parts to make some truly unique internal views. Which means, of course, we don't need the vehicle assembly building or space plane hangar today as we're going inside the ships. So I have a just true monstrosity of a craft file over here, which has all of the different manned command pods in the game. Now, I got a couple of things to go over before we actually look at the internal views. First and foremost is the prerequisites. As mentioned, this does require the raster prop monitor mod as well as asset props pack, but you'll also need the typical module manager as like with every mod in existence, the toolbar controller as well as click through blocker. So a fair few dependencies, but well worth it. Now, next bit is that this mod does only affect the base stock command pods. So only those in the base Kerbal Space program game. So any of the DLC command pods, these are not upgraded. Now I have included them here, so like the KV series of command pods, the Mark II, and of course the Mooner Excursion module, these have not been upgraded with the beautiful new internal views. I've included them here though as kind of a compare and contrast between the amazingly awesome new stuff and the blah of the old stock internal. So, uh, yeah, let's jump right into our first view here on the Mark II command pod and look at all the shiny new buttons. Oh, I, I love it. Now, we actually have, I believe, looked at some other uh, mods that did something like this in the past of updating the stock command pods. And I think this one's my favorite. It really does add in some just beautiful new bits into the internal views, and it's very well laid out. It seems to have been really thought through about what things should go where, and it just seems to make a lot of sense. And since this is using raster prop monitors, we have the functioning screens here. And of course, since it is the asset props pack, all these buttons are, you know, usable. They do things, and that I really love. So you have a far more interactive cockpit experience. And if you like flying from an internal view, that's a great thing. You really gotta appreciate having all of these actual functioning knobs and buttons. It's just wonderful. Now, of course, this is the front seat of the uh, Mark II cockpit. If we go back to the rear seat, you can kind of see the, the compare and contrast here of standard the standard vanilla thing right here and beautiful new roster prop monitor thing and uh yeah but just just overall very very nicely put in now of course we have the inline cockpit here now i think this one actually may be my favorite of all the cockpits i just really really do like the layout of this one in particular you know it just got everything in these good positions for us to use it's pretty nice i was about to hit that button that'd be a bad plan because that will stage and drop all the command pods to the ground let's let's avoid doing that but yeah again it's just nicely laid out it seems to have been thought through about where to place all these things and all in all it's just good looking and also is just, well, kind of fancy. Now on to the next, we have the Mark II Lander Can. Again, a very good placement of these things. A bit more minimalist than the other command pods, of course, but it still gets everything across and with things in the correct thought out spots that uh, work very nicely. So always good to have all these things around. Of course, the second seat of you there, if you like to play around with buttons, yay. And then, of course, we have the cupola module here. This one, probably the most bare bones of them, considering, I mean, it is the cupola module, not a whole lot of, you know, stuff here in general. But again, still very well laid out, very nicely placed, and just looks good. And of course, still has the fun little pieces of flair in here from the stock cockpit. 
Now next is, oh, a depressing view. One of the KV command pods here. Again, just as a nice compare and contrast. This is what we used to deal with. And now we have things through this mod like this. And it's beautiful. <laughs> I really, I really do just like how everything looks in here. And very good, very good. Again, a very nice layout for all these switches and controls. I like it. Of course, we're in the Mark I cockpit now. Now the Mark I inline cockpit. Uh, there we are, very good. Another nicely laid out cockpit. Very nice. And of course, these heads up displays on these type of fighter type cockpits is always cool to have because it does kind of feel like a fighter then and that's lovely now next we have the mark 1-3 command pod here a bit more of a jumble of things but still a very good looking works quite nice and there we are and of course from the second and a third seats here Excellent. Now, of course, we have the Mark II command pod back to the depressingness of stock alike. <laughs> I mean, just compare what we just looked at to this. I would prefer the new nice fancy stuff. There we go, the second seat there. And then we got the Mar uh, another KV. Here we are. Again, depressing, depressing, depressing. And then the original lander can. I think this one may be my second favorite of the cockpits, because even though it is sort of a bit more minimalistic and it's more compact in, I really like how all the space was used for the lander can to still fit all of the useful switches, etc. in here. It works out quite nicely, and I very much do appreciate that, and of course the nice little indicator is there, very good. And on to the Mark I cockpit here. A bit more cramped, but still very good indeed. And with all of our lovely gauges, it's just, it's just so nice. I love it all. Oh, I forgot that button does that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we of course have the Mooner Excursion Module back to boring old stock. And then the last of the command pods here. Oh, no, never mind. We got another KV. Forgot about this one. Now the last of them, the Space Shuttle command pod here. Very good. Now this I thought might be one of my favorites, but my problem with this one is because all the controls are so low to zoom in all the way to like see something properly, this is as low as I can look down. <laughs> so you kind of got to be zoomed out a bit, which makes some of these things a bit less useful because it's kind of hard to see down here at the bottom of the screen sometimes. But all in all though, it still does look pretty good and we've got all the useful things around that we need, which is always fun. And uh, yeah, that is it for all of the individual parts and uh, views here. Always good to have. And uh, yeah, it's just overall a very cool, well put together mod. And quite surprising considering that this, well, I, I wouldn't want to say surprising, but impressive actually is what I really should be saying. As this is the mod maker's first mod. And I'd say this is one heck of an impressive first showing for modding on the forums. It's just the cockpits all look good, they all look very well laid out, and just all in all, adds a whole lot to these command pods, which is just wonderful. So if you would like to take a look at these uh, lovely internal views for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is gonna be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!